Hi, welcome. So this is the guide we, we, we just created for the Get 1K contacts we did from Source TV. So um, this is going to be showing you how to go about the process of importing the VCAD, uh, the VCF file we provided for you. And um, this is this guide is for Android users. If you're an uh, iPhone user, iOS user, you can almost use the same um, process. Uh, once you can be able to navigate to the file, to the VCL file, either from the email we sent or from the WhatsApp uh, through your iCloud, you should be able to uh, get the VCL file and import it. But maybe maybe later we can make one that is going to be specifically for iPhone users. And then this guy is created on an Android 10 operating system device and it's, it's Samsung. It's going to be a little bit different on your own phone, whatever phone you're using, but it's still almost the same process. There's really nothing uh, extremely um, different about it. So um, what you have to do is not very hard. Now, I'm going to navigate to where the file is stored. If I have the file, if I have the file downloaded from, from my email, I should have it on my download folder in my file manager. And if you have it down there from WhatsApp, you should have it in your WhatsApp document. I'll show you what I mean. Now, if I go to my uh, file storage, I, let's say I have it downloaded from my uh, from WhatsApp. I should have it on my, I'm using WhatsApp business and WhatsApp, but I, I, I have it in my WhatsApp business. I should, if it, whichever one, if it's WhatsApp business, you just have to go to your WhatsApp, you go to your media, and then you go to your WhatsApp business documents and then you should be able to locate the file. That's it here. This KN1K one k um, contact by Source TV. Now, let's just say you do, probably download it from, from the email. You should be able to find it from your download folder. And from the download folder, you have the same file. Now, what you have to do here is not very hard. So all you just have to do is just to click on the file click on it it's going to pop up your contact uh, application now it's showing two because i have two applic uh, contact application so you just have to select uh, it if you have one to show you one just select it or probably if you if you already have it as always it will just automatically start so you just pick the, the contact you wanted to install to uh, through and then if you have more than one email which i do on my device you then have to select a particular email you want to import it to. I know the one I want it to be imported to, so I'm just going to select that email. And so once I select the email, it's going to show me that it will be imported sh uh, shortly. And if I go to my uh, navigation bar at the top, you're going to see the process that it's already, it's already um, importing them. It's going through the process one by one to import the, the contact. I'll pause and continue one, once it's done, after it's done. Okay, so now you notice that now it's telling me that finish importing VCAD gain 1K contact source TV. So basically, right now it has imported the contact list into my email. And now I can be able to access the contact and be able to see my contact view and also have the contact on my contact. So now one, one, one bonus I want to add is the fact that if you have Issue seeing the contact synchronizing on your on your on your on your uh, on your device. Basically, that should be holding to the fact that you don't have space on your on your phone. Normally, uh, Android is always uh, require that you should have about 500 to probably 700 megabytes free space for your uh, um, applications to synchronize. So try and make sure you check your, your internal storage to see how much space you have left. So you can, if you can try and fill the space to add more space so that your Gmail can easily synchronize and you can be able to access the contact on your phone, on your device. So immediately you have this contact synchronized on your device. Instantly, you should be able to, you will be able to see your contact status and they will be able to see yours as they do the same. And then you can use for the purpose you want to use for, for personal business, for networks, for anything you uh, actually sign up for in the first place. So thank you so much. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, stay tuned with Source TV. There's still going to be more for our things we'll share from the Source TV and do and every other products we have available at the OSS Empire. Thank you and uh, see you around.